Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle and I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In today's video, the reason why I'm not wearing any lipstick is because I thought it would be such a cool idea idea <laughs> such a cool idea to show you guys my go-to nude lip combinations from mac nude combinations that would be perfect for olive skin if you're like me i had like the hardest time finding nudes for the longest i thought like nude lip colors did not look good on me just because when you do have a more like tanner complexion a lot of nudes can wash you out if you don't pair them with the right lip pencil or gloss or anything like that so i wanted to show you guys the nude lip combos that work for me and hopefully help you guys out. And also the reason I wanted to start off with MAC and show you guys it by brand is because I have found a majority of my go-to nudes. And to be honest, MAC is like my go-to brand for high-end lipsticks. I really don't purchase high-end lipsticks from any other brand. It's either MAC or like the drugstore, something super affordable. So I figured I would start off by showing you guys like my MAC go-to nude lip combos and then do another video on like my go-to drugstore nude lip combos just to make it a little bit easier and to keep the video not like three hours long. So anyways, if you guys wanna see some good nude lip combos that will look great on like olive, more tan, warmer complexions, then definitely please keep watching. But before you go anywhere, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload. Love y'all and let's jump into the video. All right, so I'm gonna start off with like my first nude lipstick that I fell in love with from MAC. This was like the lightest nude that I fell in love with at first and then it helped me segue into more lighter nude lip colors and it helped me realize that I can get away with neutral lip colors as long as the undertone is right and as long as I can pair it with a good lip pencil. So the first lipstick I'm gonna show you guys is Cherish by MAC. And it's just like a really pretty, it has almost like a peachy-ish undertone. So if you're anywhere similar to like my undertone or my skin complexion, this one is absolutely beautiful. This is a nice satin finish, so it's not gonna be too matte and it's not gonna be too shiny on the lips. It's like the perfect balance. And normally whenever I wear a Cherish, I like to pair it with Cork. Now Cork by MAC is one of my favorite nude lip pencils ever. It's like a really pretty golden brown. And it might look a little bit intense at first, but whenever I apply lip pencils, I don't like press down super hard. I lightly sketch my lip and then I'll add more if I want it darker or blend out with my finger if I want it lighter. And to be honest, this color looks good with so many pencils. I also really like to wear it with Hover, which is like a warmer, lighter nude lip pencil from MAC. So Quark is here. It's a little bit darker, more golden. Hover is a more like warm, bricky type of brown. And then it also looks really pretty with Spice lip pencil as well. Spice and Hover are kind of similar. So that lip pencil will pair great with any of those three. I like to use the Quirk though just because I like for it to have more of that like neutral golden nude tone. And like I said, when I line, I like to do a soft sketch. I don't press down super hard. Like it makes me cringe when I see people do that because then they're like, oh, this lip pencil is too dark. I'm like, you don't have to like use a whole pencil just to line the bottom of your lip. So I just lightly sketch it. I'm just using a super light hand, that way I can add more to it if I want it darker. To be honest, MAC lip pencils are like one of my favorite lip pencil formulas because they're creamy, they glide on nice, but they're not too creamy to where they're gonna move around or feather throughout the day. So once I do my initial line there, I'm holding it like further down, that way I'm not applying too much pressure. And then I just slightly start blending it onto my lip, just a little bit. And by softly feathering out on my lips, it just helps me later when I apply the lipstick so that it like blends in a little bit better. I also love this pencil because it goes with literally every single nude that I'm gonna show you, you can make work with cork. So now I'm gonna apply the lipstick. And look how pretty that is. It's like the perfect nude, not too light, not too dark, like literally just like the perfect balance. You could literally wear this nude lip with any lip combination. You could even take a lighter nude and add it to the center if you wanted to make it pop more, but I just think it looks so pretty. And if you wanted this color to be a little bit lighter, you could use any of the other two pencils that I showed you and it would be more of like a softer nude finish and it would lighten it up even more. I'm gonna show you guys the gloss combinations that I would put on top. With this soft color, you could literally put any gloss on top and it'll look good. Some of my favorites are see-through. I love this lip gloss, literally on top of any nude lipstick. It just lightens up the center just enough. It also looks pretty by itself with like a darker lip pencil. If I want it to have more of a pinky tone, I would go ahead and add a boy bait. This is gonna be a little bit more sheer with like a peachy 
pinky hue to it. See-through is gonna be like a super light nude just to soften up the center a little bit. You can barely even see out my hand. See-through is more opaque though, so it would work as if you're applying like a lighter lipstick to the center. It's gonna have more pigment so it will lighten up the lip color. And then Very Go Lightly is another color I love to use on top of pretty much any nude. It's like a sheer lip gloss with light yellow gold flecks throughout it. I'm gonna show you guys how it would look with see-through just because that's normally like my go-to lip gloss for this lip combination. I don't like applying lip gloss all over my lips. I just like putting it in the center and then feathering it up. I love nudes like this that are light but not too light to where I look washed out and not too dark to where it just looks like a brown muddy mess. Like this is one of my favorite like neutral nude lip combos. I'm gonna apply some of the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer just so that way my lips don't dry out from like removing and applying so many of the lip products. So another nude lip combination that I really love is Honey Love. This is gonna be more of like a peachier type of nude. I normally like to apply it with the Hover Lip Pencil right here. It just has a little bit more of that warmth to it. This is like a really nice summery nude lip color. Cork would also look really good with this as well. Now Honey Love is a matte finish. So the undertone is very similar to Cherish. You'll get that matte long wearing finish. So for this lip combo, again, I would pretty much use any of the three, either the see-through, the one that we were wearing earlier, Boy Bait, or the golden like shimmer this is called very go lightly i'm gonna go with boy Bright just because it matches the undertone of this a little bit more so this will keep the tone of the lipstick but give me more of a glossy finish what i love about the boy Bait cream sheen lip gloss as well is that it's not sticky at all it's super lightweight super glossy i feel like this is a really pretty like bridal nude lip color to where it's like nude but a hint of pink not too pinky, not too bright. And then also literally with almost any lip combo, I always like to slightly etch the edges with a darker pencil. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more cork and just super lightly sketch the outer perimeter. I'm telling you, cork can work with literally any nude lip combo. But you can barely tell, but it just gives a little bit more depth and dimension to the lip. Yes, is another matte nude that I really like. Kind of similar to Honey Love. I think it's a little darker. Let me come watch them all be like the same exact tone. Yeah, so Yasha is slightly darker but lighter than Velvet Teddy. So if you add, so if you own Velvet Teddy, Yasha is just going to be slightly lighter than that one. And then Cherish is kind of in the middle of them. Wow, they all look so similar but to me like so different. So I'll show you how Yash looks with Spice Lip Pencil. Spice is just a little bit lighter than Hover, but again, literally any of the lip pencils I'm showing you, you can use with any of these nude lip combos and make them work together. My lip pencil might not be perfect, but I'm just trying to quickly show you guys and not spend forever. All right, so now that I'm looking like this, I feel like this looks almost identical to the last lip combination that I showed you. So yeah, I guess apparently I just gravitate toward the same nude lip combos. For this one though, I'm gonna apply the Very Go Lightly lip gloss on top of it just to show you guys how it would look. And then again, I always like to take cork and just give a little more definition to the lip. So another one of my favorite nude lip combos is Peach Stock. I always swatch in the most like dumb places. I'll swatch it right here for you guys. So Peach Stock is a really pretty, more of like a peachy nude. And I love pairing this with Cork, the darker brown lip pencil. And it gives it again, more of like that golden nude look. Look how pretty that is. This is definitely more of like a golden nude. I could definitely do a better job at blending out my lip pencil. So don't mind if the lip pencil is sloppy, but look how pretty this nude is. And if you feel like the color is a little bit too light, you can just add more of the lip pencil to deepen it up. Me, I feel like I like it like this, especially with like a darker eye. I feel like this color is really nice. Like sometimes it's nice to step out of your comfort zone and go with a lighter nude. To the center of this though, I'm gonna apply the Very Go Lightly Lip Gloss again. 
just to help give it a little bit of a glow, but I would also just wear it just like this with no gloss on top. All right, so this next lip combo is like my favorite springy, summery lip combination. You can either take Mahogany by MAC, which is a little bit darker than Hover. It's like, it has like a red undertone, but it also has brown mixed in there. This one also looks good with any more like warmer tone nudes. And I'm gonna pair that with Peach Blossom. And Peach Blossom is this just like gorgeous, summery, pinky, peachy nude. It's so pretty. Also, this lipstick is a cream sheen, so it's gonna be a little bit more sheer and super glossy. And you could leave this combo as is without a gloss. This is definitely more of like a pinky nude, a brighter nude, but if you wanna make it pop even more and you want it a little bit more glossy, you could add Pearl Lip Gloss by MAC. This is the most gorgeous, pearly, just beautiful peachy nude lip gloss ever. And this combo is super glossy. It's just such like a springy, summery nude lip combination. One of those nude lipsticks that isn't like completely nude, but neutral enough to where you could wear it with pretty much any eye look, but still have a pop of a little bit something more. So I wanted to show you guys two like darker nude lip options in case you don't like the lighter nude lip color. If you like more of like a rich, colored nude these are good options the first one i'm going to show you is mocha i love mo just like a very warm tone just like pretty neutral lip color and it's definitely super pigmented and you wouldn't think a color like this is nude but if you have more of like an olive tan complexion when you put this on it's not going to look as dark as it looks in the tube or as a swatch it's going to blend in more with your like natural lip pigment so i like applying this one with either hover or mahogany mahogany it just deepens it up a little bit i'm gonna show you guys how it looks though with mahogany so this is mocha with mahogany it's more to me almost like a natural lip type of tone not nude not too dark it's perfect for like every day for me personally for some this might be too dark for others it might still feel too light now you could leave this as is or you could add a gloss to it i really wanted to show you guys how it would look with the same per gloss that i used for the previous lip color on this one i feel like on this one it would pair even better because the lip color is more of a satin so it's not too glossy All right, so another darker nude lip color that I like. Again, it doesn't really look nude, but it's one of those colors that I feel like you can get, you can get away with wearing with anything, and it's good for every day. And it's called Smoked Almond. It looks so bright, but I'm telling you, once it's on the lip, like you're surprised by how wearable it is. It to me is just like a good summery everyday lip color. This I like wearing this with Hover, either Hover or Spice. Actually, I'll, I'll do it with Spice. And this is an amplified, so it's gonna be a little bit creamy. This looks very similar to Mocha. The only difference from Mocha, the previous color that I was wearing, is Mocha is a satin finish, so it's gonna be a little bit of a thicker texture. Satin finishes are like right next to matte, so they have a slight sheen, but they're definitely not glossy. Once that top layer is removed, it feels more like a matte lip color, whereas this definitely has more of that glossy finish to the lip. But I just think this is such a pretty, just like, day to day lip color. I also love pairing this lip color with cork, the darker brown lip color, which you'd think wouldn't go together, but let me show you guys. This looks so pretty, especially if you blend it together. I just think this looks so summery and cute. And you could apply it with pretty much like any of the glosses. You could apply it with the same per gloss that we use with Mocha. But since I already showed you guys how this color looks with Mocha, I think I just want to apply that I couldn't tell if it's Spice or Elemental Forces. Whichever one it is, I will link the proper one down below. But if you wanted to give it more of a glossy finish, just apply some of this to the center. So now the last two, I wanted to show you guys some of my go-to like more pinky nude lip combos. I normally don't wear pinky nudes too often just because 
I don't know. I normally am not a fan of how like pinky nudes look on my complexion personally. I like for my lip colors to have more of like that peachy pink tone or more of like a warm tone. But I want to show you guys the two that I do really like. So the first color is Midi Mob. I love Midi Mob. This used to be like the, the most nude I would go. It was either like a bright red lip, a darker plummy mauve or this color. Like I used to hate regular nude lip colors. And I find it so weird because I used to only like wearing mauve colors and then lately, I don't know, I just, I've been more into the warm tones, but this one's really pretty. Again, it's one, it's like a darker nude lip color. And to me, this almost matches my natural lip tone, so I could literally wear it by itself. I like to pair this one with either half red, which is more of like a mauve, but with a little bit more of like a plummy tone to it. I also really love plum lip pencil, which plum lip pencil, when you hear it, you'd think it'd be like an actual purple plum, but no, it's like a brownie plum color. It's so beautiful. I love plum. So I think I'm gonna go with plum actually for this one. Half red would just bring out more of like the purpley, mauve colors to it. This is gonna keep that like mauve color, but it has a little bit more of that brown to it, so it'll keep it a little bit more neutral. Also, this Midi Mauve is a luster, so it's gonna be, it's gonna have almost like a tinted lip balm type of feeling to it. It's gonna be very sheer, with a slight wash of color. You can do like one wash and it'll be super sheer and your natural lip will peek through, or if you kind of go back and forth with it, it will deepen up the color and you will get a little bit more pigment to it. This isn't gonna be the longest wearing lip color though, but it is one of the most comfortable formulas because it literally just feels like, again, a tinted lip balm. It doesn't feel like you really have anything on your lip. And then with this lip color, you could either put Boy Bay if you wanted to keep more of like the pinky vibes going on, or you could use like the Very Go Lightly or See Through if you wanted to lighten it up a little bit and kind of break up more of that pinky tone to it. I just think it's so pretty. Or you could just leave it by itself without a gloss. Since it already has that glossy finish, you really don't need to go in with a gloss on top. I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks with the gloss on top, just so you can see and compare. Normally though, I wouldn't wear this lip color with a gloss. And I'm gonna go in with Boy B, the more pinky gloss. All right, so last but not least, the final pinky nude lip color I'm gonna show you is called Faux by MAC. This is, again, a little bit darker. This is so pretty. This is a really good wedding day nude. I use this color a lot on brides. I even use this on my wedding day. I wore it with like, a, I think it was like a ColourPop liquid lipstick and I applied this in the center. And what's great about Faux is that it's a satin finish so it'll wear a long time, but it's not completely matte so your lips aren't gonna feel like dry or like crusty. And satins also, like I mentioned, pair really well on top of liquid matte lipsticks because it'll help it be a little bit more comfortable, but it's not gonna be like a gloss to where it's gonna make it slide around. It will help your lip color wear longer, but make it more comfortable. So normally with this one, I would pair this with Whirl. And if you've never worn Whirl, where have you been? Whirl is one of the most gorgeous MAC lip pencils. It goes good with so many different colors, literally like any pinky nude whirl will work with. I also love wearing whirl by itself. Like I'll line it, blend it with my finger, put on like a gloss or chapstick and it's like my go-to just like everyday lip pencil. I'm also gonna take a little bit of Cork, the more brownie tone nude that I've been using pretty much this whole video. I'm gonna apply a little bit to the edges just to take away from some of the super pinkiness to this. If you like a lot of pink, you can leave it like this, but I like to bring it back a little bit. So I'm just very lightly sketching the outer perimeter of my lip. And the reason I didn't go in with this color directly is because you almost need to apply that more pinky nude lip pencil first to blend into the lipstick. Then you just take a pencil like this, more brown, only on the edges to give definition. But if you were to go straight in with this, I feel like it wouldn't blend as well together. It would look super harsh. And on top of this, I would either go in with Boy Bait to keep more of that pinky vibe or see-through if I wanted to lighten things up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with see-through. You could also wear this lip combo just as is. Like, I think it's so pretty without the gloss. And again, I just apply a tiny bit to the center. And look how pretty the gloss does. It just kind of like brings it back. This is such a beautiful nude. I forgot how much I like this lip combo. I also forgot how much I actually do like the way like more pinky nudes look on me. I've gone astray for a while, but I think I have to give them another shot. 
All right, you guys, so that wraps it up for this video and some of my go-to MAC nude lip combos that are perfect for more like warm olive skin. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know if you guys want to see me do like a drugstore version of like my favorite drugstore nude lip combos because I would love to do that too. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload. Let me know which nude combo was your favorite also in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. I pray that you all stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.